What are you afraid of? Everyone is afraid of something, even myself. Whether it is the fear of an enclosed space, claustrophobia, fear of public speaking, glossophobia, or the fear that somewhere, somehow, a duck is watching you, antitophobia. Everyone is afraid of something. Sometimes fear is a good thing. It can help you to avoid dangerous situations. However, when a fear persists for an extended period of time and makes you unable to continue with life normally, it becomes a phobia. Phobia can originate in response to a variety of things. It portrays itself in many aspects of daily life, and it can be treated with several techniques. Fear has a dominant role in people's lives and can dictate actions they take. A phobia is categorized along with post-traumatic stress disorder as an anxiety disorder. The source of phobias can be hereditary or environmental. Phobias can be a result of genetics. People aren't born with phobias, but if they are born with anxiety problems, it makes them more susceptible to anxiety disorders later in life. Phobias can also stem from traumatic experiences. The development of a fear from this can cause them to isolate themselves, especially in adulthood. Since I have explained what can cause a phobia, I'll describe the indicators of an irrational fear. Phobias are diagnosable disorders that disrupt day-to-day -day life. There are physical and psychological symptoms of phobias. The physical symptoms include the inability to function as normal and symptoms of a panic attack. These include, but are not limited to, tightness in your throat or chest, nausea, dry mouth, and sweating. All of these indicators are in response to being confronted with your fear and at times simply thinking about it. Similarly, the psychological symptoms of dread and anxiety can be initiated either by actual exposure to the fear, feared concept, or just by thinking about it. Phobias can become such an issue in a person's life that they will consider seeing a doctor. However, it's important to note that a fear must be hindering your ability to live life every day, not simply be an annoying hassle for a doctor visit to hold merit. After seeing a doctor, a variety of treatment options are opened up. The power of positivity can be a powerful tool in overcoming a fear. Being optimistic and reassuring yourself that you have overcome difficult things before and you can manage this will help you. There is also a cinematic process to conquering fears. To do this, you must relax and create a movie in your mind of many humorous actions followed by envisioning you conquering your fear. Then, play it back in your head in reverse, starting with the fear and concluding with the lighthearted scenarios. Doing this is reassuring that the fear will not stop you. Lastly, hypnotherapy is a viable option to conquering a fear. This is because hypnosis puts you in a highly relaxed state, making you more susceptible to suggestion. As long as you're comfortable with the concept of hypnosis, the power that comes with the trance you are put in will allow you to confront your fear and overcome it. In conclusion, I began by discussing the causes of phobias, followed by the indicators that prove that you have a phobia, not just an annoying fear and finished by explaining some of the treatment options. Thus, fear is a dominant part of daily life, but it does not have to dictate your behaviors. So, phobia is a disorder that can be diagnosed and successfully treated.